Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to read the poem Ode to a Butterfly, written by Thomas Wentworth Higginson. Thomas Wentworth Higginson's full name is Thomas Wentworth Storrow Higginson. He was born on 22nd December 1823 in Massachusetts, US. He was an American Unitarian minister, author, abolitionist, and soldier. He was dedicated to the abolition movement before the American Civil War. After 1864, he wrote a series of popular biographies and histories and a novel. He discovered and encouraged the poet Emily Dickinson. He died on 9th May 1911 in Cambridge, Massachusetts at the age of 87. The poem. Before we start the poem, I want to ask you a question. What is the most beautiful thing you have seen in nature? You may reply in the comment section given below. So let's read the poem. Thou spark of life that wavers to wings of gold. Thou songless wanderer made the songful birds with nature's secrets in thy tents unrolled. Through gorgeous cipher past the reach of words, yet dear to every child in glad pursuit beguiled. Living his unspoiled days and flowers and flocks and herds. Before the explanation of this stanza, let's understand difficult words first. Thou. Thou means you. It is an old form. You can easily find this word in the place of Shakespeare. Thy. Like thou, thy is also an old form which means your. Tints. Tints means shades of color. Cipher. A secret code. Beguiled attracted by the poet addresses to the butterfly he says she is the spark of life she waves her wings she wanders without singing a song among the twittering birds she has hidden the secrets of nature in her unrolled shades of color she has a nice secret code of nature which cannot be told in words she is dear to the children they run after her to catch her as they are attracted she lives her beautiful days sucking the nectar of flowers and flying over the flocks and herds. Thou winged blossom, liberated thing, what secret tie binds thee to other flowers, still held within the garden's fostering? Will they do so with the completed hours, take flight and be like thee, irrevocably free, hovering at will over their parental powers? Difficult words, winged. Winged means having wings for flight fostering, caring for something and providing food and shelter, irrevocably, in a way that is impossible to change. The poet says that she has wings, she is confident and free. He asks what the relationship is between her and the flowers. They are taken care of in the garden. He asks if these flowers will also fly high in the air when their time has come. Will they also be permanently free to fly over the gardens? Or is thy luster drawn from heavenly hues, a sumptuous drifting fragment of the sky, cut when the sunset its last glance imbues with sudden splendor and the tree tops high? Grasp that swift blazonry, then lend those tents to thee, on thee to float a few short hours and die. Difficult words, luster, luster means shine, sumptuous impressive, pleasantry, colorful decoration or display. The poet asks if the shining of the wings of butterflies is because of the heavenly colors. Its shining is like the impressive small pieces of the sky moving in the air slowly. It seems as if her wings caught this shining from the last mysterious rays of the sun when it is going to set. Its last rays with all greatness fall on the top of the trees which the trees seem to give onto its wings to last for a short while and then vanish. Birds have their nests, they rear their eager young and flit on errands all the livelong day. Each field mouse keeps the homestead whence it is sprung. But thou art nature's freeman, free to stray, unfettered through the world, seeking thine airy food, the sweetness spiced on every blossomed spray. Difficult words. Errand. Errand means a short journey to get something for somebody. Whence. Whence means from where. Freeman. It means someone who is not slave. 
In this stanza, the poet says that the birds have their nest to live. They look after their young ones and go here and there throughout their lives. The field mice have their own houses in the woods and fields where they jump and move. But you are free in the nature. You are free to move wherever you wish. You have no limits. You excitedly fly here and there to find your food that is the sweetness of the healthy air. The garden one wide banquet spreads for thee, O daintiest reveler of the joyous earth. One drop of honey gives satiety, a second draught would drug thee past all mirth. Thy feast no orgies shows, thy calm eyes never close, thou soberest sprite to which the sun gives birth. Difficult words, banquet, a formal dinner for a large number of people. Reveler, a person who is having fun in a noisy and lively manner. Orgy, it means a party. In these lines, the poet says that the garden offers the butterfly a meal, a big meal. She is a small and pretty creature who enjoys this party on the happy earth. Only a single drop of honey satiates her hunger, and if another given, she will fall asleep. She does not enjoy the party in a wild manner. Her eyes are calm and she is the soberest small fairy that wakes up when the sun rises. And yet the soul of man upon thy wings forever soars in aspiration. Thou is emblem of the new career that springs when death's arrest bids all his spirit bow. He seeks his hope in thee of immortality, symbol of life, me with such faith. Endow. Difficult words. Aspiration. Aspiration means desire. Emblem. It means a symbol that represents something. In the last stanza, the poet says that when the man sees on the wings of the butterfly, he feels the brightness in the future. She represents a new life that will never end. The man finds hope in the shining of her wings, though there may be fear of death. The poet believes that the butterfly is the symbol of life. Bravery is the soul of wit. So let's summarize the chapter and understand it again briefly. In this poem, Ode to a Butterfly, the poet is addressing a butterfly. He says that a butterfly is the spark of life. She goes here and there flying over the flowers. She has beautiful wings in which the secrets of the earth are hidden. The children like her and they want to catch her. She is confident and free to fly everywhere. No one can stop her. She has a relationship with the flowers. That is why she is found in the gardens. The poet says her wings seem to be drawn by the heavenly colors and even the setting sun's rays make her shades of colorful wings mysterious. These last rays of the sun want to float on her wings for a little while. The poet says that the birds have nets and field mice have homestead but the butterfly is free to wander. She does not have any house. She has a party in the gardens. She sucks nectar, nectar of flowers. Her party is full of manners as she drinks only a drop of honey. When the man sees a butterfly, he finds new life as the butterfly is the symbol of life. So this was the poem Ode to a Butterfly. If you care, like, subscribe, share. Thanks.